Guys, the Meg was, I mean, ridiculous, fun, crazy sharks. Uh, a childhood fear of mine. When I grew up, I thought sharks were gonna be a way bigger factor. I thought, it, I thought for sure that was how I was going out. So I'm curious, like, when you guys maybe growing up, or maybe even now, is there any, like, maybe threat, natural disaster, animal, giant shark? Bigfoot. I had a Bigfoot problem growing up. Didn't work, pan out like you. Didn't. You were a hobbit. You had a big foot. Uh, no, no I'm just <laughs> I was really worried about the Sasquatch, and it, it, it turned out I, it didn't affect me at all. Okay. You growing up, but police, I guess, was uh, a problem uh, for you. <laughs> Put a jump shoes in that, John? <laughs> me and the police force? <laughs> you know what? You talk, What's the question about sharks? Right? Was there anything that you were afraid of growing up, be it a shark, be it Bigfoot? No, no, listen, don't do anything. I've, I learned to surf when I came to California. I mean, there's lots of seaweed in the ocean That's there, true. and you get a bit of that dangling around the feet. You, it's amazing what you can put in your head. Usually it's a shock. Right, right. When you signed on, were you like, I kind of hope my character just gets eaten because I want to see myself go down in a giant shark's mouth because that seems like a cool... How do you know he doesn't? Well, I don't know, maybe. Uh, but when you signed out, was that a hope for you to like experience getting eaten by a shark on camera? Uh, no, my, it, it, but it was the opposite, you know. It was to be the victorious sort of a hero. Um, yeah. Funny that. Yeah, well, you get to be in a sequel if you're still alive. <laughs> yeah. So when you're making a PG-13 giant shark movie, eating a bunch of people, is there anything like, you're like, I really want to do this, and then the studio's like, maybe don't do that. Everything. How, what, what was one of the scenarios like you came up with that like might not have made it in? There were parts of bodies that were around with a lot of blood, and you would like see an actor later on and find out it was just their head. Things like that, and uh, no, that didn't, that didn't fly. Does it ever get claustrophobic for you on set? Because you did a really good job creating scenes that were just very claustrophobic and make you jump. Was there anything for you, like when you're on the ship, you're like, oh God, I don't, this is a little tight in here. You never know what the edit's gonna be, you know? And, uh, you know, we had some tight situations. To tip the boat was a difficult thing. We didn't know how that was gonna work out. And, you know, the compressors and the thing, that wasn't your favorite day, was it? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> Uh, we, we, I mean, at comicbook.com, we're all about superhero films and whatnot. I know there's a rumor right now that you were in talks with Marvel maybe for something that didn't pan out or it was like a schedule issue. Was that true or can you say who you might have played or if there's something that might happen in the future? Uh, no, I can't say. <laughs> hey, well, then it's definitely true. That's the best <laughs> well, then it's definitely true. That's the greatest and answer. this is what I have to ask you because we have a super fan in our office. His name's Patrick. I know he's watching. He wants to know if we're ever going to see National Treasure 3. Yeah, um, it's, uh, no. Uh, I would love there to be ever. Nick is like in wardrobe right now. Jerry Bruckheimer is ready to go. We would love to do it. Um, but your friend Patrick's going to have to come up with about $80 million to have it made. All right, Pat, you start the GoFundMe. Sure, yeah, Pat. <laughs>